What's up, everybody? Uh, today's the 273rd day of making Songbringer. Today I'm going to play the game through. So, tomorrow is Indie Cup. And it's, um... Yeah, there's going to be judges and people, lots of uh, gamers there playing the game and everything. So I've been trying to make the game fun for the past um, few days, few weeks. Hell, the whole time I've been making the game, I'm making it fun. I'm trying. But one thing I did recently was to make the, um, the actual green grassy area a little bit smaller and the sandy area a little bit bigger and the sandy area closer to the sea. So, hopefully that makes the overworld a little bit more fun. I got a few more ideas. I want to put in big group, bigger uh, diamonds, and, you know, stashes of diamonds and stuff like that. Um, but one thing I did want to change before I start playing is to go into foes. Wait. What's the thing to... Oh, right, no, story. I want to go to the story and make it so the... The, there's this drop mini boss here. Guys, this one, this guy shouldn't appear until a little bit later. You already have fought a mini boss. So let's do the eight there, and this other mini boss. He's at sixteen. It seems that seems more balanced, spread out. What's up, Pedro? Oh no, yeah, Indy Cup's tomorrow. Yeah, for you, it's probably it's probably is already tomorrow today. <laughs> Where's Rocket Bunny when you need him for the quotes? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to play the game. What's up, J2? Protito? Yeah, it's 1030 there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm ready to play the game. I'm ready um, for shout outs for anybody that wants to claim the world code that we'll play today. So let me get ready. Let me get a slot ready. So yeah, six letters. Anybody that wants to name the world, just name, send, give me a six letter word. Oh, wait. I'm going to turn this off to drop overworld scene. I got my headphones, I got my controller ready to do this. Can you guys hear the sound and everything? Sometimes the sound needs a little. Oh, yeah, looks like you can hear everything. The stream's going. Okay, looks like we're all right. No beer. No beer it is. No beer. Because we don't have none. Okay, I'm going to erase the Bilbo. What am I doing without my controller? Oh, I've used so many already. Yeah, Mia USA, Miusa. We're going with no beer. No beer is the first one. We tried so many already. Poopy was one of them. Regular, permanent. I guess regular. I gotta test out the regular. Trumpet. I'm working on bugs all morning so that this would hopefully be fun to play here. Oh. Whoops. Okay, we gotta start over. The um it put me in the wrong place. So this shouldn't take us but a moment just to put the player at the right place and also start with the right items. Uh I think there's item dot teleport I should be using. Or No. When it creates a brand new game, it's in title scene. Uh, where does it create a new slot? Uh, 
Oh, there it is. Yay! Oh, it's items. Okay, so the mega seed, that's good. Position, save that. Put the, oh, the starting position. We don't want to start with the teleport because we're going to gain that item. That does mean I got to remember to later on put the, te the teleport item somewhere in the world so it can be found. Yeah, look. Um, and then, okay, the player needs to start. Where is that? World. Player needs to start in on the ship on Songbringer. Home pause. There it is. Home pause. Oh, there it is. Zero, zero. All right. So this is going to be... Um, whatever. Just one, one. One, one. K ship. Z. Okay, that should... Okay, now I'm going to... I got to delete the save and start over. But I think that's all that needed to be done. Let's see. What's up, Jonah? Yeah, play through tonight. Sorry it's such a late stream. I've been doing bugs all morning and had to get a couple more. Had to get some stuff done that I that I had to get that I could get out of the way so we could at least play the game without interruption, you know. <laughs> Before it had one interruption anyway, but Alright, no beer it is. How far is it from my house? Not too far. Yeah, it's only about, I mean, with good traffic, it's only half an hour, but um, it probably won't be good traffic. So it'll probably take an hour to get there. It's really only like 10 miles to get into San Francisco from here, but it can take an hour, hour and a half in the worst traffic. This is a tight bridge, you know, this one bridge has, um, where everybody has to use it. Yay! All right, we're starting in the right place. Okay, since I know this game, I know to go get the cup. But if you were not a player, you would. If, if I was just a regular player, I would be exploring at this point. Yay, we got the cup. And um, no, not the Golden Gate Bridge. There's the there's the uh, it's called the Bay Bridge. So I can ride the. That doesn't look that good. I really don't want to. That's not final art. But at least, whoa, what the hell? They put a gate right here. This is really interesting. Oh, I think it put... Hold on, I might have to start over because it put... Oh, wow. What kind of world? Did... Well, look at that. That didn't even work. It did, it put the home plot point at somewhere I've never... Oh, I think it put it at 1-1. One, one. Is that correct? Yeah, this is the 1-1. One, one. Oh. Okay, I got it messed up on some of that math at the very beginning. Okay, try again, hold on. This won't take but a second. What's up, Space? My name? RDJ? Wait, what, what was that again? Oh, Robert Downey Jr., that's right. Thanks, man. What's up? What's up, Space? My name? I'm doing good, man. I just, um, I messed up the home pause, that's all. Hold on, so let me look at all the instances of home pause here. It creates the maze with the start point home pause, and then creates overworld Z with home pause. And it sets the pause to home pause. Oh yeah, okay. All right, so we need two things. We need a start pause and home pause. Start pause is one one ship Z. Home pause is man, that doesn't make sense. But anyways, start pause. 
watch some. Yeah, and actually. Uh, yeah, home pause is integral. It's all hardwired into everything. This is not an optimal way to write this code, but oh well. Okay, I think that'll work. Best seed ever. So I gotta start over. Um, the bug there was that it put the it put the start pause for the overworld in a totally weird place, so it, the whole game was kind of messed up. Hey, at least we're getting to test the erase function really well, which can be it's a really important one to have right. If you want to erase the world right. It doesn't set the, the start position to the great to the right place or anything. Thanks, Bob Roberts. Okay, hopefully we can play it this time. Did I did I forget to do that? I did. Look at that. God damn it. It's right. It's right here. Where I need to use it. World pause equals start pause. Thanks, J two. Good catch. Really good catch, man. <laughs> Nightmare seed. I wonder what the world looks like, actually. I keep on saying, okay, this time it'll work, and then it doesn't. But it's really simple stuff, quick stuff. Yeah, what setup? Yeah, all I got is my laptop, man. I have my girlfriend's laptop I can take, but the problem with my girl girlfriend's laptop is, number one, it's an older system, so it is really slow. Um, but also that the colors on it are not 32-bit, so it looks uh, all the colors look like crap. So I gotta use my old laptop. So I set up like a file vault system, so all my files are secure, and I got a guest account and everything I'm gonna run it on tomorrow. iPad now on the left? What's that? What? What is that? Sorry, what does that mean? What does that matter? Should I switch back over? I mean, I could put my iPad on the... on the. Does it look weird or something? What does it look like? Is that... does that matter to you guys? I'm just trying it out there on the left, or it's it's my right. Yeah. Oh, we got the cup. Oh, it's not weird. Okay. All right. I thought it might have been like over, like maybe there's some chat overlay blocking something or something like that. You are notice. You are very attentive. So once again, the art there is is not finished. And I want music in there to start there, but okay, at least now it's flowing right. The actual behavior starts in the right places, does the right stuff. Yay, got the world as it should be. Okay, I'm interested to play this world because I what I changed this morning was I made the um the sandy area bigger. Because I like the sandy area. And I also made the sandy area closer to the start point. So oops. So if you if you die fighting this guy, it doesn't it saves correctly, so you can you get to try again. Yay, that worked too. So I'm interested to try out what it's like playing this world with the sand closer. 
Alright, alright. Any suggestions on where I should go? Up, left, right? Big tree. Alright, this big tree is looking kind of weird here because it's blocking the top of the north, so that's something I should know. Hold on, let me get my phone so I can take some notes. Where is my phone? Fun. That's actually a good idea, Pedro. Yeah, he could start with the cup. It would make a lot of sense. I like that. Oh, the tree blocks the dialogue too? Oh, interesting. Okay, we read that down too. You don't need a cup to get drunk. <laughs> for beer pong. Whoops. Save and quit. Alright. These guys are tough. Tough but slow. shouldn't be able to spawn oh right items use any set any valid boss rocket you play beer pong Jim just took a hit. I totally would have got hit by that. Interesting. Interesting to have him able to take damage. No. It really, it has changed the game a little bit. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. Okay, yeah. That's a good idea. But I was. That kind of goes. If we, if you drop reward items. The reward item is supposed to kind of is meant to be more of like a secret that you unlock, and more than just a, an item that the last enemy drops. So that's why I wanted it to appear in the middle of the screen or near the middle of the screen, and sort of jump into position. What you didn't see there is the reward items go boop, and they whoa, they jump into position, and it and it gives you the feeling that it's more of a secret than uh than it's just a regular item, you know. Oh, I think these guys can go fall off the screen. Yeah, I gotta fix that. So all these guys are gonna just float off the screen because the bottom is... Um, yeah, let me write that down too. What, what area is that? 4-0? This is no beer. No beer. 4-0-0. Zero, zero. 
Bayag can float off screen. Alright. Sorry as I'm having to stop and write down some What? What are we doing? Shit. Oh, it's saved there because I'm in debug mode. All right. Well, if this was if this was a release mode, that wouldn't have saved there. It would have saved, it would have put me back at the home position. That's kind of weird. Everybody started in the same place down there. It's another reward item here. These should probably be less obvious. All the enemies in a re reward item, they all start out right now in a circle pattern. So that... Oh wow, so I totally got locked into that. Oh, I forgot to fix the map. Damn, the map. The map. Oh, it's gonna be a busy night tonight, tell you that. I'm gonna be straight up coding till 2 a.m. and then I got to wake up early tomorrow and go to this indie cup thing. Hopefully there's people there. I'm hoping there's a, there's a lot of people there and I can connect with some cool cool folks. I'm also excited to meet some other indie game devs. Huh. Oh, that's that's kind of. I wish it was, I don't know. So when I throw the top hat, the old way of throwing the top hat was there's no diagonals. So it's kind of, it, it's cool to have the diagonal top hat throw, but it's something that I don't want to accidentally happen so much. I'd rather that it kind of preferred horizontal. I don't know, I guess I'll try it out a little longer. Once again, put all these guys there on the here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what that is. Oh, I think it's putting all flow entrance B in the bottom left. Hopefully that's what it is. Oh shit! Keep quitting. It's like automatic. What's up, Felipe? Welcome to the stream, man. So I'm playing through Songbringer right now. I'm getting it ready for Indie Cup tomorrow. So I'm just playing through and noting everything that, that's wrong. This is cool. I'm really loving that there's gates now. Oh. Now that, that actually worked out all right. I fought the first guy, the first mini boss was in the first room. The second mini boss was spaced out, sort of. A little, a little bit farther away from the starting point. And then this guy. Oh, he had a reward item as well. That's cool. So we got the, the compass or bio detector for this world now. We got two cactuses. Three cactuses. Ooh, I'm definitely going to use one of those. But I'm curious as to what's over this way. Oh, hey, let's use this, huh? Whoops. Oh. Forgot. Equipping items is different now. So, it just showed me where the... where level one is, but I don't... I can't see it because the map's broken. Oh, it might be right here. Oh, elevator bug. 
forgot about that. Level six. I don't know if I want to play level six. It might be kind of hard. Level 6 should never be the first level you find. Just like, it should be really easy to find level 1, not level 6. And what was that other thing I just thought? visual thing, but it really helps your aversion. It affects my aversion when I see that bug, when I see so the, the ground appearing above it. It's like, oh, I'm playing a video game, not not uh, immersed in a world. Okay, so that's probably one of the most important things in the game so far, is to make sure that level one is like really easy to find, and all levels above three for example, should, should not even be accessible until you've gotten one of the items in the first world. Okay, nice. Oh, I th this is gonna be a bug. So, oh, I really want you guys' thoughts on this. Um, when it goes, um, when it refills your health here, is it going forever? Okay, great. It's done. It asks you to save. So it was, I wanted to know what you guys think about this. So whenever you get to a refill point on the overworld only, well maybe this, actually you might be able to find refill points inside levels at some point. So anyways, yeah. And at refill points, should the player be able to save their game? Basically you would be able to, it's not really that you save your game, it's that you save your position in the world. So instead of starting at the home point near the cave all the time, you could start here at your your latest save point if you choose to save. You like that? Cool. I'm thinking I like it too, because it, that way you can kind of you can really you know zone in a point that you really want to stay at. You know, like okay, great. I'm, this is near level nine or whatever. I want to save my point near there, so I don't have to walk all the way and find it every time. And also, maybe there's because then maybe later on there'll be save points in the world. Oh, I forgot, I gotta write down that too. Um, save point. Uh, fix the flux refill. Man, I've already got so many bugs on this list, I don't even know if I can get to all these tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you lost a bunch of time when you died randomly in the alpha version? Cool. Yeah, y'all great, I'm glad this is a good thing. Yeah, wait a bit. Every level is generated. Every level, every tile of the entire game is completely randomly, procedurally, not randomly, but procedurally generated. You know, there's algorithms that go into it all. And it's all in memory. There's never anything saved to disk. So I guess that's, that's one way that some people could hack this game later on in the future. They can just read memory. Now that's kind of weird. It placed a refill in a dead end where there was already. Oh wait, no, that's not a dead end. Never mind. That might be cool, but it did place two refills somewhat close together. Oh, I wish the map was working. Two re uh, refills shouldn't be that close together. Refills are a little farther apart. No, wait a bit, it does, it does not ever, ever save the level data. The only thing it ever saves is the six letters that you use to create your world. 
That's all. It, that's all it needs to generate exactly the same world on any platform. So those six letters, like I, I always say, they generate the entire world, and I mean it. Your whole world comes from those. That choice right there. What's up, Red Sands? Development's going really great, man. It's getting to be a more mature alpha version at this point. And um, pretty soon the beta will be all ready. Oh, wow, there's another refill really close to that last one. Yes, yeah. You, all, you, all that's stored is the seed. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a great way to think of it. Getting a lot of dark world here now that now that I made the light world a little bit smaller. I'd like to be getting to the mountains. I guess I'm totally lost because I don't know where the level one is, and the map's broken right now. But it would show me because I got the compass, but. Yeah, so map, that's probably one of the most important things to fix. Um, oh, look, I got on the other side of a gate that I, sh that I shouldn't be able to cross at this point. <laughs> Too many bugs. Oh, my God. I hate this overwhelming feeling. Does it save? Wait a bit. Does it save the entity data? No. It recreates entities. So if you, if you leave this world, let's say you, you kill this guy, you kill all these guys, you leave the world, it always cut, it always recreates enemies. Unless you, you're in the, it saves the entities data only for that playthrough, right? So since I've played, I've already started playing this and defeating some enemies, it's going to remember that these are, these enemies are killed when it creates the, the area. But if I reset the game or I go load another save game, then it'll, it'll, It'll refresh all the enemies in the game, except for bosses that have been that have been defeated. Bosses that have been defeated are uh, the game knows that um, that boss has already been defeated because you already have the item from from defeating them, you know. So it doesn't because it knows. How does it remember the enemies that are on the screen? It just saves them. It says, okay, each area has data, and it's it's runtime data. It's not very complex at all. Each area, this is the, this area is the area I'm on right now, right? These enemies are kind of here. The names of these enemies are simply bits of data inside this area. And when an enemy is killed, it just remembers the data, the current data for that enemy is dead. So when it goes and recreates the enemy, when it go recreates all the foes for a level, it knows to not create some of them or to create some of them as being dead. So this, what's actually happening is it's recreating all these entities in memory. So it saves. It's really efficient on memory that way. There's only needs to be one area loaded at a time. A good job of exploring the overworld here. Oh wait, hey, look, there's level one. Oh, I forgot level two and everything is broken because I it's there's the oh uh, yeah. These are supposed to be the ones where you drink from the fountain. I haven't finished that at all. Haven't had time. So I gotta at least turn those levels. Make level two. have an elevator that's pretty easy that's just level data yeah I think J2 that is yeah there's posters man it's from the Kickstarter this game has posters this is what you're talking about posters um, there's shirts Shirts and stickers too. So this is the Songbringer shirt. It's got like the same Songbringer icon logo thing. And then 
and then stickers. So I'll have tons of stickers at IndyCup tomorrow. So once again, if anybody's like, you know, if you're near San Francisco, um, the event is tomorrow. Small but looks great screen, I mean. What? What do you mean screen, you mean? Actually get, oh, level one's up there. Dude, it put level one so far away. How did this happen? This is another really important thing. Level one, yeah, well, I already wrote that down. Level one. Level one, no beer needs to be close. Okay, so I gotta find my way into that area. It looks like it's behind a wall around this way. Whoa, that was a fan. Yes, yeah, I'm using Co Coco's 2DX. Felipe. All the lighting you see is shaders. So I'm using shaders, custom shaders for all of this. Oh no, don't tell me it's behind the bombed area. No, it's not. Yay. Oh. God, I don't know. Maybe maybe throwing the top hat should never be diagonal. I gotta I gotta write that down. I gotta consider making the top hat throw like less diagonal. have to actually be moving in a diagonal direction right so like maybe if you're if you're if you're standing and you throw your top hat it never throws diagonally but if you're moving and you're moving in a diagonal direction then sure it throws your top hat in a diagonal hey hello Cedric yes I coded the lighting myself this, this is I mean I'm a year into making this game many many days oh no I don't know if I can get there so this world is kind of broken in the sense that it put level one in a place not only is it impossible to get to level six is really easy to get to so probably one of the most important bugs to fix is there hey look at this I'm actually killing these guys pretty efficiently these guys are tough you can easily get your ass kicked by these guys Oh man, see that? Put another on. At least I got this one already noted. Once again, um. Was I just thinking? Damn it, I lost my thought. There's one other bug I was just trying to note there. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Well, I guess I can play level six. Let's do that. That was cool. I like that. You can you can run from your top hat again. Shazzle, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm so lost. I don't know where to go. Oh, here's that. Oh. I think it was back this way. Okay, so anybody who just joined the stream, I'm playing through Songbringer here. This is the alpha version. Beta version's coming in a few months. Final version's coming a few months after that. Cool, you watched day one? Awesome. It's the top hat. 
you get these homing drones from one of the one of the enemies, and you put the homing drones inside your hat and you throw it, and, you, and so the homing drones bring it back. But yeah, what I was saying there was, um, uh, yeah, this is about the alpha version, and a lot of bugs to fix. Basically, I'm working on getting the game ready for Indie Cup tomorrow. Do you have to pre-order for posters and shirts? Uh, sorry, but there's no more posters. I can't do any more posters because I promised everyone from the Kickstarter. Uh, I can do I can do new co posters, but I can't release po those existing posters because I promised everyone um, that they would be the only ones to get that poster. So I might do future posters and do like a new design and something else. Probably around release time, we'll do that if any time. Um, Yeah, so what I was saying there about about the alpha version and all that is that there's this is really buggy. And so I'm kind of lost in the world right now because number one, the map doesn't work. Got to fix that tonight. Um, and number two, it's it's kind of placed a few things in the world wrongly. It shouldn't have placed Wait, level 6 was down here, huh? Thanks, Cedric. It placed level 1 completely wrongly. I shouldn't have put it so so far away and it's inaccessible because there you have to have bombs. All right, there. That was a crazy trip. But look at this, it put level 6. This is level 6. Really close to home. Something's wrong with the maze generator. You gotta work on that. Lots of stuff to do. Which means I probably need to cut this stream short after this playthrough. What's up, PFC? Free health regen? What's that? Oh, that's right, the darkness. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna have time to fix that. I, I, like the, I like this darkness right here, this is cool. How this level's a little darker. And I would like to have some levels that are completely black even. But the thing is, it needs to transition smoothly. See how when it's nice and a certain level of light here, and then it goes into this room and all of a sudden it's dark. So it needs to blend through there on that, on that transition. It sure does favor bats a lot. Yeah, the choose the game of the year today, that's awesome. I played through the original Legend of Zelda um, again recently, not all the way through, but um, there's a couple things I really want to add to this game that, in honor of that and, and inspired by that. One is in these uh, in these dungeons, I want to be able to go down a floor just for one screen. Like on this screen, for example, you'd be able to go, or wherever there's an item or something like that, you'd be able to go down a floor to the place where you get a, an item, and it, that so that room looks really special. I love having these diagonal rows working again. That's cool. Oh, that's right. The, I got the item there, so we're good. So, uh, what time does Indie PB choose the choose the game of the year today? Dude, this is hard. Play, fighting these guys when they're on the water. Oh, dude. Oh, he got me. Tough. Twenty 
22 hours left, huh? Man. It's awesome. I hope, I hope some really great game wins. level six and I don't have very much health at all. That explains it. So this is, that's why it's so tough. But that's good. It should be tough at this point. Oh cool. Here's an item. Yeah. Oh, you just gotta get in close. That's cool. Um, and, and Indy, Indy TV does that. Who else? Who are they sponsored by? Or who? What? Who's the one that's uh, that does all that? Bring your souls. So I got the yellow password now. It's a big level. Oh my god. There's so many of these guys. And uh, since the alpha version, damage has been distributed. So for example, your sword does about half of a heart or half of a tooth or whatever. Um, damage. And if you hit multiple enemies at once, it spreads the damage among those enemies, so it's a little more fair. And it works really well with other things that get damaged, like grow back tiles. So that's an interesting gameplay element that is actually making this more fun to play. I can't, I can't kill a bunch of enemies with one sword swing, which just doesn't make as much sense, you know? It's one of the rules. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, Somewhere that one way of knowing if an enemy is well designed is when its creator can beat it without taking a single hit. Really? That's a well designed enemy? Huh. That's very interesting. I've never thought of it that way. Wow. So I guess in that sense, these levels should I should have more health. Right? If it were fair, then the creator would be able to defeat it. But I would assume that's in, in normal s circumstances, right? This is, um, the circumstances I'm in right here, right now, are that I, I've skipped up to level six, so I don't have anywhere near the I awesome items I would have by now, and the amount of health I would have by now. So I would, I would, I would assume that that means that if I were testing here, I would need to have the right conditions, and then... Uh, once again, I'm really hampered by not having a map working. Right, there is a winning strategy, true. Huh. Uh, I see what you're saying there, Saladongs. Because that is that is kind of true for all these enemies. There's some there's weak points for enemies and bosses, too. So if a creator can't beat it flawlessly, it means the enemy is too hard or too random. Mm. Huh. I'm gonna use that when I. am gonna. I'm gonna keep that in mind as I as I keep on developing enemies and bosses for this game. That's really interesting. Jib? I 
know they're sometimes targeting it, but it'd be fun if they were targeting Jib completely. Yay. Purple password. Hey, this is the first playthrough where the passwords have lined up correctly with the doors. <laughs> Without having to fix that again. Oh man, I miss these guys. These guys need to be more often. There needs to be more pulverizers. Forgot about those guys. Somehow they got like swept under the rug a little or something. More pulverizers. on the Steam page right now, so I'm really not concerned whether the well, whether the NDDB page as well. Yeah, right. Doom. I forgot about Doom having colored colored passwords or doors or keys or whatever. I would actually prefer to have numbered keys like This guy's tough. Oh, lucky. Come on, give me some help. Oh. Hey, this is, is kind of cool having this barrier. Fight these guys. Wow, this diagonal level is really interesting. It's like really easy to fight enemies. This should be more of like an easier um uh... kind of working the system here on this. Nobody? Dude. Got shafted on this this little oh. Exploring this little level here. Almost killed me. Bats, I'm telling you, there's too many of these. Too many bats. I gotta write that down. Too many bats. Bats are like way overused. Hey, there we go. I got too many bats and not enough pulverizers. There you go. Simple. Swap some, some bats out for pulverizers. Hey, at least they give you a lot of health, though. Hey, what do you guys think about on Zelda 1? Zelda 1, you could, um, certain enemies well, were, like, guaranteed to have certain items, right? Like, if you ever saw one of those guys that shoots the rocks or whatever, they're almost guaranteed to have some money. And other guys were really great for finding bombs. Should, should enemies be like that in this game? Where if you fight, say you fight some bats, and you're almost, you're almost guaranteed to get some health. And you fight some drop guy or something like that, you, you're almost guaranteed to get a, a cactus or something. You like that idea? Possible implications of this idea? Bombs! Yeah, I finally got bombs. That means I can get to level one now. <laughs> In Finland, they're giving a basic income of 800 euros to everyone. Whoa! That's 
badass. Oh my god. Really? It's pretty cool. Hey, who wants to move to Finland? Oh, it's a proposition? It's a pilot program at this point. Okay. Hmm, but that's really interesting. Thanks for the, P the heads up on that, POC. Okay, I haven't been this way. Must be on to something. See, these guys have a weak point diagonally, which makes this, this room right here ideal for fighting these guys. gotten to a boss door and not had already had the entrance to it. Oh, it has to be dead quiet. So why was your dorm vibrating then? Man, I can't wait to break to make more levels. What do we got here? Where is Looks like I can go up and to the, to the left. Ha! Here we go. Man. Perfect bomb opportunity. Get out of there. Uh, get those guys. Yeah! Plus one for the bomb placement right there. Oh, it shakes a lot. I see it. What's up, Rocket Bunny? No, I apologize for being late too, man. I know it's super late for you. You must have a lot of chocolate milk. On diagonal areas, enemies almost always melee, right? Yeah, 
but it, yeah, because they're they're not all, they're not all set up to use diagonal. Um... Oh, I forgot about mobs. Mobs are gonna make this fun, <sighs> dude. How many things are on my list already? Mobs. Uh, new diamond types. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen bugs already. These are all super important. On a good day, I can get like three or four bugs fixed. What's up, blood? Ah, uh, doing a playthrough right now, man. What's up with you? How's it going with your with your deal and everything? Yeah, looks like I can do this. Six. Now that's really interesting seeing some of these pulverizers. Oh, cool! The pulverizers even hit Jib. Uh, that's funny. I mean, not for him, but. So yeah, I'm doing a playthrough right now. I got a lot of bugs to fix, which means like after this stream, I've just gotta, I gotta start hunkering down. It's gonna be a long night. I might even shit. I might even pull an all nighter. But then I'll just be like crap tomorrow, trying to say hi to people and stuff. And then you like, hey, what's up? I'm half asleep, and here's my game. Play it. I don't know. I guess it's more important to be somewhat fresh and see people and stuff. I guess I'll just tackle the most important bugs I can tonight. You know, so little time. I hate deadlines. Anybody else hate deadlines? It's going well? Cool. Oh, you got sick? Damn. Oh, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, Rocket Bunny, I use Ableton. Alright, so this boss, he definitely needs some redesigning. He's, um, he's pretty easy. Especially if I had the ghost sword right now, it'd be super easy. That's the reason why they're called deadlines instead of happy lines. Yeah, but there's an alpha day, alpha day coming, but it's not gonna be um, till later this month. Cause there's so much cool stuff I want to finish and make awesome for you guys before I release the, the alpha update. Yeah, right. Deadlines. Some deadlines. Oh no, he's not having health in him. Gotta write that down. That's like a... That's, that would suck. You know what? People that play this game tomorrow, I'm guessing people will play from 5 to 10 minutes max per person. So they're probably never even going to get to a level. But anyways, if they do get all the way to a level and get to a boss as well, it'd be nice if those are working. I guess I gotta prioritize this list. Um, mini health containers need health. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a um a conference tomorrow. It's like it's called Indie Cup tomorrow. It's here in San Francisco. You hate debugging. March? No, March is when the is when I have a goal for setting the beta. So yeah, this is um this is just uh to get the alpha update out. So this is just kind of a bonus, right? I'm not really com I haven't committed to anyone you know, on Kickstarter or anything like that that I was gonna do uh um that I was gonna do any alpha updates until the beta, you know. But I decided I changed my mind because I'm doing this for the Indie Cup anyway.
anyways, and I'm refining the game, and I'm, you know, doing all this work to get rid of bugs, so I might as well, I might as well prepare a, an alpha update. So it's kind of like a bonus, it's just a bonus on top of the cake. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, let's use some, um, cacti. that too yeah it's so great to get good feedback totally yeah and it's good to, it's good to get the game a little more refined as well because um, um, that way I just don't have to refine it later it's like one of the things I you know refining the game takes so oh, damn Yeah, Riono, yes, I'm the uh, I'm the solo developer behind this game. I make the art, the music, the code. Bob Ross is proud of you. Thanks. Thanks, Bob Ross. Oh, wrong way. Damn, wrong way. Starting over. Yeah. No, it saved me here! Damn it. It's because it's the debug version. It saves you wherever you are. So, the uh, the release version of the game makes sure to always place you at the beginning of something. Or, right now, it's allowing you to save your progress at refills. So, if you're on the overworld, you can save at refills as well. That's, that's just your world position. Oh, right, yeah, that'd be a good button to add, blood. thanks for that suggestion. Yeah, right now I've got a button that can kill all enemies on the screen. Which sounds really tempting to do right then. And, um... Let's do it here, too. Yeah, it's so, it's so easy now. Uh, but then, I, yeah, I should have a button also that refills health. Just for game, debugging versus purposes. Nice, I'm glad you guys like the start music. Okay. One more try. The reason he's so tough is because bosses amp up their health based on um, what level it is. This is level six, and I'm playing it as if it were level one. Oh, look at that. Jim does take some, take a hit. Check it out. Go try to attack. Attack Jim. Come on, do it. No, you want it. Yeah, see that? <laughs> it's... Uh... I D K F A. What's that? Do I have hotkeys for bombs? You mean to refill bombs? Bombs. 
No cacti. All I got is top hat and a sword and a really tough boss. I'm not sure if I can go beat this guy. This guy's this guy the only strategy I've got here is to just run away and then throw my top hat. Ooh, that was close. He almost got me there. I guess I could just sit here and throw my top hat. Okay, work at work around. Or was exploit. Uh, to pick up to pick a bomb, do you have to go to the inventory? No, not if you already have it equipped. So yeah, PMC, check it out. In the inventory, you can equip up to four items. See, I got A, B, X, and Y. So you would go like, um, you know, if I had bombs, for some reason it took them away from me. But if I had bombs or a cactus, all I would do is go here and press X or Y to equip those, and I would never have to go to the inventory again. God mode in Doom. Oh, right. I remember that, but I never used it. So, I never knew about it. So, great. Right. I know this is so cheap, right? But this is an exploit. I need to fix this exploit. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Pretend that there is there I can't do that exploit. That is really helping with Jib getting hit. Jib, get hit. Yeah, Jib, you're awesome. I love it. I love that Jib can get hit now. It just makes the whole the game way more interesting. You get way luckier. If, if you place, you kind of, if you can get Jib to be placed correctly, then he's really an asset. And as well, once I finally get multiplayer going, local multiplayer, so a friend can play as Jib, that's going to be a great strategy. As a, as a friend, you can go, you can't hurt enemies, but you can annoy enemies, and you can get the, you can take their damage as well. Jib can't actually die. Bob Ross is not happy again. Whoa! IDSP, ISP, OPD. Yeah, I remember those. Warcraft 2. What about Warcraft 1, huh? I love Warcraft 1. No, oh, this is always getting so tough. There we go. Good job, Jib. Get hit again, Jib. Come on, Jib. Essentially what's going on is his hit points get, get ticked down from getting hurt, and then when he gets down to zero and he's dead, he just regenerates. So he just takes a second to recharge his batteries and comes back to life. Man, that was cheap too. I'm such a cheapie. Yeah, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so that was weird. He did the one boss explosion when he was supposed to do the other boss explosion, so... Last bug I'm writing down today. Um... Uh... Regular... Bosses... Shouldn't... Explode... Something like that. Okay, let's see if the rest of this works, though. Oh, the boss was being cheap?
The gloves don't do anything yet. I'm not sure exactly what they will do. I know I had a plan at one point for the gloves. But yeah, they, they'll eventually do something. All right, it worked. We're back to the beginning of the level. We can warp out of here. We can elevate out of here. I already noted that bug. Okay, that's it for the stream today. I gotta get hauling ass and fixing these bugs. And sorry, but uh, I can't fix all these bugs and do a live stream. So that is gonna be it for tonight. The cup, I know, is the cup is for um, the cup is not gonna make it into this version for tomorrow, but it will make it into this to the alpha version. Um, update coming this month so you'll have the cup you'll be able to get to those those levels and stuff yeah so um, thanks for watching you guys um, hopefully the game will be a lot funner once I fix some of these bugs tomorrow so yeah to cheers thanks for watching and I appreciate all y'all and have a good one <laughs> even if it's only 15 minutes I gotta go man I gotta get dinner and stuff Call working. <laughs> Good one. I know, right?